Uh, today I want to talk about something interesting. I, I've encountered this very, very often, especially lately, people who are negative, people who are toxic, and people who feel need uh, to spread this negativity and toxicity onto your life. As, you know, they need someone to offload that, right? How do you handle that? How do you deal with these kind of people, especially if these people are your friends, as your family, as people that you can't just say, no, don't do that anymore. How do we handle people like that? Look, you need to understand something that these people, these negative, toxic people, whose whole purpose of their lives is to get you and to, to offload their neg negativity onto your life, you need to understand that people like this, they're very, very insecure and they live in fear. And all the fears that they experience, they need someone to talk to, right? They need help. In a way, they need you. You're the closest to them. And they say, look, I got to tell you, I feel bad about this. And this person did this. This person did that. So they need someone to offload that negative energy. And, you know, if you're the nice person, great listener, you're the first person you're going to go to, right? So how do you handle that? How do you not get affected by people like this? And by the way, these people are the biggest dream destroyers in the world. People who will come to you and say, no, you're not good enough. You can't do this because of this. I've tried to fail. You can't do it. And then all of a sudden, if you didn't know, majority of people get affected by this negativism of people around you. So here's a solution. Here's a solution. Listen to them. Understand that they're insecure, that they need someone to say, hey, everything's going to be okay. Understand that they do need love whether from you or for someone else, but they need that because they obviously they haven't been loved in their lives many, many times. So they need someone. They never had support. So treat them with love. Give them that feedback. Say, look, I hear you. I hear your negativity, but it's not going to brush over me. It's not going to come on to me because I'm full of positivity. I'm full of great energy. I'm going to give you this energy and love that you deserve. Maybe you didn't have it in your life, but I'm going to give it to you. Give them love. Show them some love, right? As bad as they sound, as negative as they can be, give them some love. They need that more than anything, right? And then what you do, you go and surround yourself with positive people, with people that will take you to the next level, the people that will uplift you to the next level. That's what this really is. If you get stuck in the past, if you get stuck in that bubble of negativism, that's all you see. But the moment you respond differently to that, say, look, you can share your stuff. It's not going to affect me. And it shouldn't affect you. Understand that. Negative people will be around you all your life. People who won't believe in you. People who will say, you can't do it. You don't have a school. You can't speak English. You're bold. Whatever reason they have, they will offload it on you and say, you can't do it. But guess what? Find people who will say, yes, you can. Because people who say, yes, you can, are the ones that will help you reach that next level. People who will say, yes, you can, because as ugly as you are, you are great. As stupid as you might think you are, you are great. You've done something that most people in the world will never do. You tried. You've never given up on you. The whole point why people are successful, regardless of where you're coming from, is they never give up. It's about them never giving up, no matter what these negative people will say about you and behind your back, especially, right? And who cares? Understand something. You're living in a bubble. You're living in tens of thousands of bubbles every single day of your life. There's a bubble in your home. People in your home who are influential. There's people at your work. There's people at any environment that you encounter. Those are bubbles. And if you eliminate that one bubble out of your life, guess what? That bubble is gone. So you decide how you're going to respond to these negative things, negative people around you. Understand something? they also been there, right? And they're negative because they've been influential by many bad negative things in life. They've been influenced by people who told them many times you can't do it. All of a sudden, they start believing that they can't do it. But guess what? Who are you to tell me that I can't do it? I have the full power to respond and decide... Am I going to do it or not? Am I capable of doing it or not? Understand something. And I always repeat this to my students. Look, if someone in life was able to do it, it's not impossible anymore. That means that you can do exactly the same thing in any industry, in any field of life. If someone was able to do it, it's not impossible anymore. So, all this negativism is going to be there for the rest of your life. It's how do you respond to that? What do you say to them? Is it going to affect you? Or are you going to say, hey, it's not going to affect me. I know where I'm heading. I know how you're going to get there. 
If you're with me, fine. If you're not with me, even better. I'm going to find people who are with me on the same path. Like-minded people think alike, act alike. Surround yourself with like-minded people. Understand, folks, something. It's all about the mindset. Mindset, your strong mind will take you further than anything else in life. Combine your strong mind with taking action and doing something and you're going to succeed more than majority of people in this world who are negative. The reason is they're always complaining. There's always someone else's fault. It's never your fault. There's always someone else determining your destiny. Understand something? Place where are you right now in life? Who made that decision for you? Was it your parents? Was it your friends? No, you made a decision to go and apply for that job. You made a decision to go to that school. You made a decision to be in this call right now. You're making your decisions in life. So all these little decisions will eventually take you to your goal. So choose your decisions wisely. Choose your steps wisely. And most importantly, believe in yourself. Because guess what? I believe in you. And like my man, my lady actually, Rev Sarp, love it, love it. The best revenge is your success. But guess what? It's not about revenge. The only person you should be competing with is not people around you. It's you from yesterday. You from one year ago. You from five years ago. You from 10 years ago. Those are the only people you should compete with. You got to be the best version of yourself you can be. Or else what's the point? What's the point of you settling down and, hey, I need uh, 10,000 rand or $1,000 a month and I'm done for the rest of my life. Hey, look, you have a story to tell. You have a message. Would you deprive the world of your message? There's someone who's been through the same things that you're going through in life. They deserve to hear your story. They deserve to be inspired so you can change their lives and stand up, folks. It's all about doing something great, empowering other people and showing them that if you were able to do it, someone else can do the same thing. Guys, my message for today won't be the last one. I promise that. I'm so all fired up for today. It's a beautiful day. Today in Johannesburg. And guys, get ready. Today is your day. And I believe in you guys. See you all soon. Bye-bye.